Here we have Coach Corey Gibson, 89-75 win against McNeese. And Coach, a lot has changed in a week in terms of, you know, you didn't expect them to make 15 threes, but your guys were the ones that had the hot shooting hand, especially Jamonte Black. And that three-point shot, either way, can be a real equalizer. Absolutely. You never know when shots are going to fall. You never know. When we played at McNeese State, I mean, they uh, I mean, they were they were great and sharp shooting from behind the arc, and it paid off for them. Um, going into this game, we had a little bit uh, of a defensive strategy uh, to take away the three-point line, and uh, they got in our paint some. But, uh, you know, I want to give our guys credit for uh, for really paying attention to detail to the scouting report and being assignment correct on both sides of the ball. And, uh, you know, our guys have had confidence all year long in regards to, you know, shooting from behind the arc. And uh, tonight we were just a recipient of that going in the basket for us. You talked about it coming into this week, Jordan Wilmore coming back. You're kind of rounding into a little bit of health. Uh, statistically, solid line for him, most important probably, plus 12. And just his physical presence out there makes a difference. Jordan Wilmore is a dominant force. I mean, you look at games throughout the year, I mean, he's a plus all the time. Our guys really respect him. He respects his teammates. Uh, he's assignment correct defensively. He's always talking. I mean, he, he has to be one of the most dominant forces defensively in, in the South and in the country. I mean, he just causes so much friction in the paint. He alters shots even when he isn't blocking them. Uh, when guys get beat off the bounce, he's there to rim protect. And then from a rebounding standpoint, you know, if you don't send two bodies to hit him, then he's going to get it. If you send two bodies to hit him, somebody else is going to get it. So, you know, there's a domino effect when he's on the floor. And we're just so happy to have him back in the rotation. Uh, Dane Prim is starting to get his second win. And uh, just want to give credit to everybody, the guys that didn't play, the guys that did play. You know, they just gave a valiant effort mentally and physically. Cedric Garrett, one of those guys. We've seen through the first four conference games – and we talked about it last time. You played a little differently than you play a non-conference schedule just because of the, the opponents you played in the non-conference. But Cedric coming in, you saw Jovan Zellenbaba on Saturday. The lengthening of the lineup and the rotation, not just from minutes, but quality minutes, is helping this team. Absolutely. It's allowing us to, you know, have a surge late in games. Okay. Those guys have really turned it up a notch in regards to attention to detail, they're really putting in the time in the film room with the coaching staff. Our coaching staff has done a great job of taking those guys under their wing and uh, making sure that they understand the small intricacies, okay, of the offense and defensive side of the ball. But, you know, with that, the guys have to buy in, and they've bought in, and they've earned the trust of their teammates. And so, you know, it's a breath of fresh air being able to move forward knowing that we have that type of depth in our rotation. So, you know, you're down by one going into halftime. And you can tell coming out of halftime, they just wanted it even more. So what did you say kind of to them going into halftime and just kind of like getting, be able to get the win? We were, we were stuck in the mud in the first half, okay, because we, we changed the lineup. We put Big Wilmore back in. So sometimes when you change the lineup, it takes a minute for the chemistry to become back intact. You know, Big Wilmore had been in the lineup before he went on the IR. And then coming back, okay, he kind of had to get the dust and the rust off, right? So the flow was not the same that it had been in the past with him in the lineup. But we knew once we got our second win in the second half and after he got the dust off, we knew we could find some flow, but we just needed a breakthrough. And we eventually found a breakthrough because we remained physical and we remained steadfast and we kept sharing the basketball and we stayed on the glass. If we do the intangible things, okay, the intangible things, we know that we can eventually find a breakthrough. So can you guys talk about, like, the confidence booster this kind of gives your team going into a road week? Well, you know, like I've said before, this team has not lost this year. This team has learned from every outcome, okay? The things that concerns me the most is that sometimes what some people consider winning, which is the outcome, Sometimes it's when you lose the most, okay? During that seven-game win streak, okay, there for a minute, we almost lost ourselves. But we kept learning through the process, so we actually didn't lose when we won. And then even when we, got, when we didn't get the outcome that we wanted, our guys turned it up a notch and was willing to go back to the drawing board, okay, and say, hey, these are some things that we have to fix, right? And that tough non-conference schedule, 
really built us for a game like this in conference play. So how do you kind of keep this going, going to Nichols and your work day coming up? We have to remain humble. It's all about humbleness. It's all about character, okay? We have to make sure we keep all that intact. The only thing that changes going into the next game is the priority. The priority changes because the game plan changes going into your next opponent. But our values remain the same. So our only concern going to this is that we have to understand the priority of who the opponent is, but our values have to remain the same. And what we talked about in the locker room after the game, you have to decide if you're going to be a thermostat or a thermometer, okay? We have to be thermostats and regulate our own temperature. You can't let anything or anyone, okay, turn you up or turn you down, okay? If you're a thermometer in life, you can let someone or something turn you up or down. So the focus going into the next one is that we have to understand that we're a thermostat. Coach, thank you for your time. Thank you.